to Liberia now, the final episode in our special series, The Last Patrol. The 5th China Formed Police Unit is wrapping up operations after a year in Liberia. Their main mission was to protect civilians and fellow peacekeepers, but the Chinese team has achieved far more than that in the West African nation. We round off our coverage with this report from CGTN's Sonny Methu. We spent a little more than a week with this team. A fascinating but fleeting insight into the challenges they face in Liberia. And just what it takes to make the grade as a Chinese peacekeeper. They've won friends among the community, won admiration from their comrades in the peacekeeping force Yunmil. Farid Sharif heads the mission in Liberia. The Chinese formed police units uh, represent a high quality of professional competence. They're very disciplined, well trained, and quite committed to their tasks. Not only have they been providing uh, normal duties of a police unit, but also have gone beyond the call of duty and reached out to the communities and also provided some training and mentoring to the Liberian National Police and uh, enhance their ability to perform their own tasks without dependence and reliance on foreign assistance. But now they're going. What is the legacy they leave behind? We spoke to people who've come to know the various Chinese peacekeeping missions over the 15 years of their deployment. This is their assessment. The technological advances that China have introduced and then uh, implemented within the FPU here are noticeable because of the additional funding that China has put in. Um, I've seen the equipment you provided is of a higher standard than generally most formed police units have. The Chinese have brokered new grounds in training partnerships, working alongside fellow peacekeepers from Nigeria. The UN plans to use the model elsewhere. The willingness of the Chinese FPU to engage, both with the Nigerian FPU and with the Liberian counterparts, has been excellent. To try new things, and I think some of the work here can be seen as good practice, and I'm putting it forward so it can be replicated in other missions. Um, a particular note here, I think, is the relationship that's been built up with the Liberian National Police and with the Nigerian Formed Police Unit, so they've learned to work together and train together should they ever need to be deployed. The Chinese have also provided invaluable support to empower local police efforts. Equipment and training go together. So we, we, we had um, the Chinese government do a training and then they donated a lot of equipment. I mean, the equipment went so well until it even gave the police a newer image because we had, we had the uniforms, we had the handcuffs, we had the accessories to go with the uniforms. I hope that we can continue this um, relationship, I wish we can make it even stronger. They've been a very intrinsic part of uh, UNMIL and particularly the, the UN police here. And it'll be a shame to see you go. And I'm glad that the Liberian institutions have really reached a level of competence and confidence. The country they leave behind has a long way to go. Even now, it bears the scars of brutal civil war. But the Chinese peacekeepers have played their part in helping Liberia heal itself and find some hope for the future. Sony Mehdi, CGTN, Monrovia, Liberia.